Hello, my friends. Welcome back to Faith Walk 101. We are so glad that you could join us. Information overload. We're just getting it from all sides. My friends, we need to take a break from this stuff. Don't just listen to it day in and day out. It will cause you to be stressed. Argue at the TV set and throw stuff at the internet. We need to take a break. Come out here and enjoy what God has done. But you know what? There's always going to be man trying to convince you to follow him and do what's not right. Information overload. We need to escape from it and come out here and just enjoy what God has done. Listen to the wind and uh, the trees. Experience all of nature. It just feels good. It's the peace that we have. But we're going to talk in this lesson about responding to all this stuff that we hear, all these falsehoods. We're going to talk about how the wise should walk. I know we hear so many lies, especially if you follow this stuff constantly. It just makes you want to throw things at the television, throw things at the internet to break it up. You yell and you scream, you comment on every little falsehood. We've got to take a break from that. But I want you to listen to something very interesting that Solomon writes. And yes, they did not have computers, televisions, internet, radio, TV. <laughs> they didn't have any of that stuff. He said, I don't think they did. I went back there. But he gives us some wise advice. And we find this in Proverbs chapter 13 and verse 20. He says, walk with the wise and become wise. Walk with the wise and become wise. For a companion, for a companion of fools suffer harm. My friends, fools will destroy you if you walk with them. He's saying we're to walk with the wise. If you continue to walk with those who continually issue out false information, it will cause your soul to be destroyed. He says walk with the wise. Walk with them. Proverbs chapter 13 and verse 3 says, He who guards his mouth. That's right. You don't have to comment on everything that you hear that you know is not true. You don't have to do that. You just get yourself upset. You know, Psalmist said there's a time for everything. There's a season for everything. We have to pick and choose. Let the Spirit lead you. There will be times where the Spirit of God will just say, Be silent. Spirit of God will say, speak. And you've got to be ready to move when the Spirit moves, my friends. There have been many times I've had somebody say something to me that I wanted to respond and I didn't. And you know, and after I got home and you got to thinking about it, and I think to myself, I'm glad I didn't say anything. You know, and I think that was just the Spirit of God working. There are times we just cannot engage with the foolish. And there's so much foolishness. We need to be able to see through that. And the Spirit of God reveals to us a lot of times where people are at just by opening their mouths. You know that old saying is that, you know, it's better to remain silent and look wise than to open your mouth and remove all doubt that you have no wisdom at all. <laughs> so sometimes we just need to be silent. Proverbs chapter 13 and verse 3 says, He who guards his mouth protects his life, <laughs> but he who speaks harshly will come to ruin. He can ruin everything by engaging with a lot of unfoolishness. You invite this into your life when you engage into a lot of foolishness. You will have an end of destruction when you invite these things into your life. There will be a shipwreck of your soul when you start to engage into all this foolishness. My friends, take a break from it. Be led by the Spirit. You don't have to engage in all of this stuff that's taking place. The enemy wants to distract you by having us fight against one another. You know what Paul writes in 2 Corinthians chapter 10, and verse 3 and 4. He says, even though we walk in the flesh, we do not war after the flesh. 
the weapons that we use are not carnal, but mighty through God for the pulling down the strongholds. The weapons that we use is the Word of God, and it has divine power. The Spirit of God knows, and the man of God wants to follow what the Spirit of God is saying. And Solomon is saying, when we engage, when we walk with all of this unfoolishness, it will bring ruin and self-destruction to our own soul. So we have to be careful how we walk, my friends. We want to choose our steps carefully. We want to let the Spirit of God lead us. Well, how do we do that? Well, if I had to sum it up, I would say, make it all about God. When we make it all about God, then there's no doubt that we are walking according to His way. And some things that we argue and we fight about, it's not even about God. And I think that's what we have to remember. But you know what's, uh, what Paul was saying about even though we walk in the flesh, we do not walk after the flesh. My friends, we're not fighting against one another. That's what the enemy wants. He wants us to fight against one another. It's a spiritual war. And that person who is speaking falsehoods, who's telling lies, is being led by the enemy. And what we want to do is pray for those people. And we want to be careful that we don't find ourselves walking with them. We don't have to engage in every falsehood. Every time somebody says a lie, we don't have to be in their face and say, and say, no, you're lying. Let the Spirit of God speak. Sometimes, and a lot of times, it is out of ignorance. People are suppressing the truth. They don't want to know the truth. But we want to be ready to give an answer for the hope that lies inside of us. When we see this world uh, through the eyes of the Word of God, then there's a compassion, there's a love, and there's a sadness for those who are lost. My friends, the wise walk according to the wisdom of the Word of God. And the Bible says that the world thinks that the wisdom of the Word is foolishness because they can't understand it. See, God, the process that God uses to help us to understand, He puts His Spirit inside of us. And that's what it says in John 14, 26. Jesus says, when I go away, I'm going to send the Spirit to live and teach and guide you, all my friends. And that's what we have inside of us. We have a, a deposit of what is to come. And I am so glad of that. Information of overload is what the people are ex experiencing. But you got to remember, take a break from it. You don't have to engage in every little thing that is said. If you know you stand on the truth, you don't have to defend it. Some people want to fight about everything. You got to recognize it's just a distraction. It's because they really don't want to deal with the truth. They're suppressing. And we want to pray for those people. Continue to join us on Faith Walk 101 as we talk more about these things. Thank you, my friends.